Hey guys, Torx17 here coming at you with another Star Citizen video. Finally back in Star Citizen. Very excited to be back. Star Citizen 3.0 is live. Uh, it was very hard to make YouTube content on Star Citizen 2.6 since we kind of did everything there was to do in Star Citizen 2.6 for a very long time. Uh, basically, we were almost a full year in between major, major releases in Star Citizen. Uh, and with 3.0, there's a lot more content to kind of dive into. And today's video is going to be the kind of basics into cargo hauling. So we're going to hop into Crusader and we're going to show you just the basics on how to get cargo hauling and uh, how to make some money. All right, as most of you know, as a new player, you start out at Port Alisar. Uh, but the reason I want to bring this up is it's very important to recognize that you can only fill cargo for a ship at your present location. So we're going to speed it up a little bit here once we get out of the room, and we're going to go down to the ship retrieval console at Port Alisar, which is located on our right here. Uh, so if you've never used this before, you hold F, click Use, and you'll notice right away that there's an Avenger Titan there, located at Grimhex. And the Retrieve button is grayed out, which means I cannot fill it with cargo, and I cannot fly the ship out of this location. And if we scroll down, you'll also see that there's a Drake Cutlass Black that's stored at Port Olisar, our present location. And our retrieve button is lit up in yellow, which means we can retrieve the ship. That also means that we can fill it with cargo. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. And you will see it's on landing pad B1. And we could fill that ship with cargo. Cargo. Just, just a note, you don't have to have the ship on a landing pad to fill it with cargo. Now, I also want to show you where the trading and shipping consoles are at all the ports. At Port Alisar, this is where they are located, and this is where you fill your ship with cargo. There'll be more on that later. All right, and the next location that I want to show you the trading and shipping consoles are at Grimhex. And for the sake of the length of the video, I'm not going to show you how to get to the elevator that we're in. Uh, I think a lot of that information is readily available out there. So once you leave the elevator, you're going to look to your right towards the stairs. And the door to the shipping and trading consoles is the first door on the left with that horizontal light there to the right of the green neon lights. Uh, what's kind of cool about Grimhex is it's a rundown station and it's taken over by other people So none of these stores or any of the locations are really labeled here. So it's very important to know, kind of know where everything is um, And also something that's really cool is the uh, shipping and trading consoles here are a little bit different looking than the ones at Port Alisar And then the next location is Levski. Uh, you're gonna follow up the elevator through customs and the trading panels are gonna be to the left of this statue over here, to the left of the Grand Barter Market uh, elevators. So they're right there as soon as you come in, readily available. It's really, it's actually one of the easier ones to get to, which is pretty nice. Um, right to the right of the admin office here. There'll be five panels, and you can use those to trade and ship from Levski. And the last locations I want to share are here on the planets, and you're looking for that antenna on the left or just above the door, it will say storage. And at these locations, there will be a trading and shipping console and you can pick whatever items happen to be uh, produced there and buy and sell from those locations as well. We'll jump back to Levski and show how the trading and shipping console actually works. So once you jump inside of it, you'll see at the very top, there is a buy and sell option. We're obviously gonna go with buy to start. Uh, and then we'll go to our delivery locations on the left, which are all these ships that have never been requested or actually at the location that you're currently at. And then we will choose a commodity that we want to purchase. For the purpose of this video, we'll just choose a random one. Let's just say scrap. So click scrap and then use the slider to choose how many units we want to buy. And then we'll say purchase scrap. Then we have the yes or no option, we'll say got it. And then our transaction has succeeded. Once we say got it again, the money will actually be deducted from our account as you see at the top right. Now for the purchase of the video, this makes absolutely no sense to sell back to the location you just bought it from as the guy's not gonna buy it back for more than what he just sold it for you, right? So we will go ahead and just sell the scrap here, 
doing the same exact options. You do have to make sure that you select scrap in the middle and then use the slider to sell it back. And as you can see, we will sell it at a loss here. All right, and the next thing that I wanna talk about is what to buy where. And it's very difficult to determine what to buy where because the pricing in Star Citizens is, is dynamic. Uh, the, you know, there's Laranite. That's something that a lot of people are buying and then selling to Port Alisar. Um, but with the prices being dynamic, eventually Laranite becomes very low margin of uh, profit. So there was this app here that we're looking at right now made by Texas Skulls. He streams on Twitch, and I'll leave his link down below in the video. That it, It's just a very, very well laid out version of what is sold where at every single location in the current Star Citizen universe. It's very, very cool, very, very useful. There's also another section where you can input what you purchased an item for at a certain location and what it sold for at another, and that information is stored. And it's also timed, so if it's old, it'll be in red, and it'll kind of tell you that this might not be very accurate. Uh, it's a very, very cool little app. Again, link will be down below. You guys should really check it out. All right, guys, now that you know what to buy where and what to sell where, it should be very easy to figure out what kind of runs you want to do. I do want to talk a little bit about risk and reward. I think, in my opinion, there's two kinds of ways to run cargo in Star Citizen 3.0. And you can kind of do a get-rich-quick scheme, or you can do a slow-and-steady scheme. And uh, the slow-and-steady scheme has, uh, you know, you might be able to purchase very low-priced items and sell them at a high profit. And the get-rich-quick scheme is your, you can kind of purchase high priced items at lower margins but it just takes less runs to maybe make a certain amount of money um so for example if you have like a thousand uec you might buy gold or laranite or i don't know diamonds and you, you're not going to fill your whole aurora with them um the full of cargo but you're going to double your money or get close to doubling your money each time that you do a run whereas you might fill your aurora with something like um, you know, the one alpha UEC items that might have high profit margins, but you might have to do multiple runs to double your money or triple your money or whatever. With that said, I want to talk about one of my favorite runs, uh, and it's at Yella, and it is the Drug Lab at Yella, which is an unmarked location. It's very difficult to find. Uh, I'm going to do another video on how to find it uh, probably tomorrow, but um, it's one of my favorite spots. It's where you can buy Widow, which is a drug in the Star Citizen lore, and you can take that Widow and you can sell it to Grimhex, where there happens to be a lot of drug addicts, for basically over 100% profit margin. So you can double your money on each run. Uh, it's really, really awesome. Now I'm curious, what is your favorite run? Where is your favorite spot to run cargo to and from? Let me know down in the comments below. I think this is where we'll put an end to the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button below and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the format if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Also, I am a member of the Redacted Content Creator team. We have a nice little community going on. You can find more at redacted.tv or visit our Discord and join in the discussion there. Guys, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful time out in the Star Citizen universe, and I will see you guys in the next video.